Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about producing scatter plots using R. Scatter plots are appropriate for examining the relationship between two numeric variables. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will graphically examine the relationship between height and age. We can produce a scatter plot using the plot command. To access the help menu, type help and the name of the command you would like help for, or simply throw a question mark in front of the command name. Before constructing this plot, let's calculate Pearson's correlation to get an idea of the strength of the linear relationship between the two variables. Here we can see there's a fairly strong linear association. Now let's go ahead and produce the scatter plot using the plot command. The variable that is entered first will appear on the x-axis, while the variable entered second will appear on the y-axis. As before, we can add a title to this plot using the main argument as well as label the x-axis or y-axis using the xlab or ylab arguments. I also like to rotate the values on the y-axis by setting the las argument equal to 1. If desired, one can also change the x or y limits using the xlim or ylim argument. Here let's set the x-axis to run from 0 up to 25. While purely aesthetic, one may also change the size of the plotting characters by using the sex argument. Here we'll set it equal to 0.5 to have the plotting characters at half the original size. We may also change the plotting character we're using using the PCH argument. Here we'll use plotting character 8. I've also removed the CEX equals 0.5 to have this character plotted at its full size. We may also change the color of the characters using the COL argument. Here we'll plot them in red. While we have not yet discussed linear regression, let's go ahead and add the linear regression line that was fit to this plot. To do so, we can use the AB line command, and here we'll add the linear regression predicting height using age. Again, we can change the color of this line using the COL argument. Let's make the line blue. Finally, we may wish to add a non-parametric smoother to the plot to describe the relationship we're observing. We can add a line using the lines command, and here we will add a smooth spline to the plot for the relationship between age and height. It is worth noting that a spline is just one of many possible options for smoothers. If we would like, we can change the line type that we're plotting using the LTY argument. Let's use line type number two, and we can also change the width of the line using the LWD argument. Let's set this equal to five to have a very thick line. To learn more about the plot command, explore the help menu. In later videos in this series, we'll talk more about refining these plots and making them even more beautiful. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.